Coming up next, a UFC Bantamweight tilt. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this bantamweight fight. Jan is five years the elder. The rest is nearly identical. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 15 wins, one loss. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Petra no mercy, yeah. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 16 wins, four losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. So And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? So here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Big Paul punch lands. Now we get back to range. looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. He's very tricky when he throws that body. Both kick. fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Timely defense there. Huge blocks for him. Nice kick. Look at him drive his chin. Fight. 
Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blop. he gets to knock. Blop! Great looking for a guillotine. Just be a matter of time. Wow. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off. Move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. All right, we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC. A lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round, both landed. Multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. Are you ready? You ready? Second round underway. Lands with the kick there. No pat on that foot. No shin guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Nice stick with the right hand. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Ooh, what a punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Watch knees to the body. Unable to connect there. Spinning back fist is there. Nice pick with the right hand. How about that chin? Look at him whip his hip into that kick. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. It's such a fast leg kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. His misses are at the top. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Nice punch there. Right hand, yep. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Oh, nice jab. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big kick lands. in that round, DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed 
that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Third round underway. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And they separate. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Big punch lands in the middle. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, uppercut to the head, DC. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. His opponent was doing a great job of seeing the boat. Just over three minutes to go in round three. He blocks the shot. Punch lands over the top. Fight starts. Of course, he got defended. Set up your attacks, young man. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think he's going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Single collar tie. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strike. Oh, big knee! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. How the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges scored this contest 30 26. Declared the winner by unanimous decision. So So there he is, the celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. You've got to feel good about dominating every aspect of a fight and getting a victory. You should be very proud of his performance tonight.